Farming and food production in Africa can be hugely challenging. Small size land holdings, poor quality seed stock, disease, inadequate agricultural support, and a climate that can fluctuate from months of searing heat to periods of torrential rainfall. All of these factors and others make it difficult for millions of rural Africans to produce enough food for their survival. In recent times, a new challenge has emerged. As the effects of global warming have put millions of poor Africans at the front line of climate change. The rains have disappeared, seasons have changed, and farming communities are the first to suffer. While the industrialized countries of the Western world must take primary responsibility for the causes of climate change, Africa's poor are being forced to face the consequences. But those living on Africa's climate front line are facing up to this reality. Communities are adapting to their changed environment by building on local knowledge, changing the way they live, and by diversifying their livelihoods. As the rains fail, irrigation schemes allow two or three harvests each year. As temperatures rise and growing seasons change, communities have learned how best to conserve natural resources and protect their environment. As soil becomes drier and the water table falls, farmers have built dams and undertaken a range of innovative water conservation measures to protect their crops, their livelihoods and their futures. Support is needed for these adaptation efforts so that agricultural research institutes can roll out drought-tolerant crop varieties to rural farmers so that communities can cope with this changing environment. Adaptation funding must be sufficient, fair and reliable, with the costs of mitigation borne by those who are responsible for the pollution that caused global warming. Climate change is here and the people most affected by it, poor subsistence farmers, are least able to cope with it. Climate change is here to stay, and so we must learn to adapt to it. Climate change is the challenge of this century, and we must support those we have placed in the front line.